Hello. Today I want to go through my take on a block file uh, in Eclipse. And um, you can see that I have one here on the screen that I use in court. Now before um, we even go there with the block files, let's uh, do a little review here about block files and where you might find them in Eclipse uh, if you're in Texas. But if you're not, uh, let me make a suggestion here that uh, you put them under your Eclipse folder under uh, Eclipse here and then have uh, your block files. Mine are called Texas Court or Texas Depot. When I'm in court I have uh, certain block files and when I'm in Texas Depot I have certain block files. And most of these were created by Keith Vincent and so huge shout out to Keith for putting these together. And I would also suggest if you are new to block files and you don't have any block files when you start making your block files, put them into a separate folder called block files or something. If you look into here, I'm going to double click on Texas Court, and then here's my block files. And you can see I have a, a lot of them listed here that uh, uh, are for my court cases. And some I even have front pages, uh, you know, state of Texas versus somebody or a civil case. I have front pages kind of uh, put together and I can just merge those in and then add the attorneys as I need to. Uh, but the other beauty about this is because I have this in a separate folder I can quickly manipulate and move these files and copy them somewhere as opposed to having all of these files under my BRAC directory and then trying to manipulate those files would be a nightmare and uh, it would be hard to do. So let's go back here to my uh, front page that I'm going to go through and kind of try to dissect a little bit uh, what's going on here with uh, some of the block files. You can see some of these have uh, different things inside these block files and anything that's blue would be a fill in the blank. So if I go up here and if I hit control or shift E for fill in the blank you can see what's happening here is it has dropped down a window of things that uh, I might want to put in to the uh, caption part right there. Trial on the merits, pretrial hearing, etc. Now how does it do that? Let's go back up here to the beginning of this and I'm going to hit control A as my command to open up the uh, field and see what's happening here. <coughs> you can see it's adjustable so uh, it's going to be uh, centered. It's on a header line as it says over here. It's going to be centered. It's going to be adjustable. I'm going to be prompted for the contents and I'm going to use this file here called Z trial. Now wonder what that is. Well at some point there was a block file created called Z trial under the block file section. So over here in Eclipse I'm going to go over here and I'm going to show you in fact it's right there on top Z trial. Within that file is where everything uh, is located for that window to, to pop up. So when I hit Shift E these drop in here like this. If I want to edit that file I can drop in here and I can actually edit and you can see how it's set up to work. One at trial on merits, two at pretrial hearing, etc. etc. If I wanted to add something in here I could go down here and I could do a uh, let's do a return line Let's not put an answer there. Let's do the uh, Shift F5. Here we go. Now let's do a 7 at uh, Funny Attorney. 
We'll just call it that for fun. Now I'm going to exit out of here. Now let's look over here at this file. Shift D. Now you can see I have a new one. And I put Funny Attorney. Now if I want to edit that, I can go over here and call it uh, something else. Let's do uh, Motion to Suppress. There. Now let's go back here again. Shift D. You can see I've added it. Now another way I can do it is I could do 8 at uh, let's see what else I could put here uh, admonishment hearing I can type it in that way then I can click on add and I can drop it in that way and have it show up also if I don't want to put that in there I can go back here to edit and you can see it's it's here I can just back this out now and take it out exit out of there let's go back here again let's do a shift E and now it's taken out so there's a couple of ways to add to the files as you go through so that would be just the uh, the top line uh, for instance and then you can see here we have one called date and let's look at that one the control A and let's see what's uh, put in there uh, the variable is the date you just gonna, you're just going to type in it's going to be adjustable and you're just going to type in the date of the proceedings in this case nothing fancy about it <clears throat> now if I want to go down here uh, to something a little more uh, interesting which would be the attorney page you can see here how I've got this set up and this is how it works for me I want to put the attorney here and I want to put his bar number and then I want to put the firm now in my case when I'm building my block files for the law firms I put the firm the address and the zip code telephone number fax number and that's where I stop so when I am building a firm line uh, for this it needs to have one two three four five entries in there and I'll show you how to do that in just a second let's look at the attorney first I'm gonna uh, do a control A again to look at the field you can see there's a list file called attorney ATTY it's adjustable I will delete the line if it's empty by just hitting enter and I will capitalize the contents you have lots of variations here you can you can fix to adjust uh, the field the way you want it to work so if I hit shift E it's going to bring in all of these different uh, attorneys names that I have worked with over the many years and you can see if I go down through here I have a ton of them and recently I've been working with the uh, uh, since I've been working in the courthouse and been required to add the attorneys names with the state bar number what I've done is started attaching the bar number with a lot of the attorneys names so I'm going to edit that file and I'm going to do a uh, control page down and you can see that many of these names now have a bar number out beside them <clears throat> the way I make that work is you type the attorney's name and the plus symbol and then their bar number whatever it is and it will put in the attorney's name and the bar number on that field so let's look at that and see how that works let's go here and let's do a shift E and let's do Mr. Dennis G. Moore right there you see it's highlighted this attorney's name and then when I hit enter you should see it's going to drop in his name in this window and then drop in his bar number and just like that there it goes now the next window that is opened up is the firm main window and this is where I put the law firms in there and you can see I've got many choices down through here I can just scroll through and scroll through and you can see I have a ton of law firms from all over the country some here in El Paso many's in other parts of the country wherever I've uh, worked with uh, uh, from other parts of the state or US I put them in there so that I don't have to do it again now you might ask uh, in my situation you know Breck why wouldn't you just tie this in with the uh, firm name 
And, you know, I could do that, but what I would have to do is each time I have a new attorney from the uh, district attorney's office, I'd have to fill out all of this information for each attorney. So what I've done is I've separated this out to where when I go here and do my shift E and go to El Paso and choose district attorney's office, it puts in the information right here and that way all I have to do is add two lines to my block files and not have to recreate the wheel so to speak um, and type in all this other information. Now you can see through here um, the way these work is you have the firm name plus the street address plus El Paso, Texas 79902. Some of the firms I have uh, phone numbers for and some I'll have a phone number and a fax number and some I just uh, have the phone number uh, and some of these are firms that I worked with before I began in court so I don't necessarily have the phone number and the fax number out here like on this one I actually do got the law firm name the street address plus El Paso plus the phone number plus the fax number. The plus sign is how you tell Eclipse to jump to a new window uh, to fill in some more information. And that's why it's important, like I said before, that you have the correct number of lines here so that you don't have Law Office of Joe Blow, um, 500 East Smith Street, Suite 200, El Paso, Texas. Now you things are getting messed up because then you've got telephone number is El Paso, Texas. So it's important uh, that if you need to have four lines here to make your firm work uh, for your law firms, then make sure you have four lines in here uh, versus the three like I have. And sometimes uh, many examples have the firm name first and then the attorney, this part here, is moved down to the bottom. So it's however you need to set your fields up, but uh, I wanted to give you an example of how to make them work. Now let's do this one more time. Um, and you notice here I hit E for EP. Uh, EP colon district attorney's office, public defender's office. Let's look at how that works within the file. So I need to search for capital EP. Go back here and find EP. All right, <clears throat> here's, here's one EP for an example. EP at, and that's how you can uh, shortcut some of this stuff. If you have uh, certain firms in El Paso, you might want to call it EP. Maybe you have certain firms in uh, Houston, you might want to call it HOU or LA. You might want to put it LA and then just jump to those. Or if you uh, just start uh, typing in the information, if I wanted to put in, say, Smith something, it, it jumps to those areas and it alphabetizes it. So if you get into the Smith section and you want to add or find one that you've got in there, you just hit it and uh, you start, uh, you click enter and it fills in the blank. So let's do the EP. Let me start this over again. I'm going to go here. EP and let's do district attorney's office and hit enter and you can see what it's done. It's filled in information for me. Now the email is uh, very typical you know Joe Blow at whatever. That's simple to put in. You don't have to worry about uh, that and then party is the next one. Let's go look here at this one because it's going to prompt you for your party or parties. And again I've got plaintiff defendant, intervener, executor, respondent. If you want to add stuff to here, you can do six at uh, petitioner, et cetera, et cetera, whatever you want to put in, uh, just uh, six at, seven at, and then put in whatever you want and put it in all caps and then it should fill in correctly for you. And if you look here, let's do a control A and look at this uh, file, add blank. You can see it's called X party is how it's named in the block file section and if I were to go into my block files and look for X party I would see what it looks like which is this right here so you can see here that uh, this is how you can use block files to your advantage to save yourself a lot of time and and uh, trouble now what I have it uh, 
also do here is notice at the end of this one, control A, I'll tell it to be the last field. What it does is it will fill this in and stop. Now if I wanted to, I could uncheck this and go down here and uncheck each of these that say last field, last field, and it would go from here, it'd go to the next one and to the next one to the next one. But I uh, tend to make it stop and check it and then go down to the next one and, and continue on. And that is how I use my block files for a front page and to fill in the information quickly. In this section right here with your caption, uh, that's a little more detailed uh, as far as setting up uh, those fields. But uh, this this line right here is um, what's called auto adjust. There's a blank line right here. If I do a control A, it's not adjustable. It only has 26 spaces to go across this line right here. So in most cases I have state of Texas and then everything else just deletes. And if you were to look at this one here, you can see it says uh, delete line if empty. By just hitting enter when I'm doing the fill in the blanks, uh, I can uh, fairly quickly jump through these lines. And um, But if I want it to be adjustable, I can make it adjustable. When you do that, what you have to do is go into your paragraphs and make a, a fixed caption line. Uh, that's adjustable like this one is here and it will continue to fill out. Let's just show you how that works. I'm just going to type in a bunch of junk and when I hit enter you'll see what happens. It adjusts it down and continues to add lines until I stop typing. Now this is really handy if you have a huge uh, caption and you've got lots of lines and you just want to keep on typing uh, and don't want to be limited. Now if you look at this first line here, if I do that, I was talking, at, at some point I'm still hitting the keys but that's as far as it's going to go. And that's because I want to limit it from doing that because I need to have this stay on the same line as this. That's how it sets up and looks pretty. And I uh, hope that uh, this gives you a better understanding of some of the block file features in Eclipse and how you uh, set some of them up to make them work for your advantage and uh, to um, make it easier for you. What you want to make sure that you do is uh, when you start in the field just add these firms as you go through here just add them to your uh, your list file. I could have like Smith and Wesson plus one two three one two three Main Street plus anywhere USA seven nine 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 whatever plus phone number eight hundred eight hundred eight thousand plus eight eight hundred eight hundred 8001. If I did that, filled it out that way, and hit add, it would add it to my file in my, my firm file. Click OK, and it drops it in there for me. And you can see what it did. It filled everything out correct, correctly, and it looks good. From this point forward, if I ever use that firm again or work with that firm, all I have to do is go. Uh, and pick them and choose their name and everything will fill in correctly for me. Now I'm going to go back in here. Now if I don't want to use that firm again, let's uh, edit the file. And they will be at the very bottom of the file. I can go in here and I can take them out and get rid of them. That's okay. It didn't get rid of them up here, just in my block file. So I hope you have a better understanding of uh, some of the block file features in Eclipse. Hope this helps uh, maybe explain a little bit uh, how you can set some of the files or the fields up to uh, work to your advantage. Uh, if you're not using them, uh, maybe this will help you uh, be on your way to start using block files. With that, I will close and I am out.